it's all about this idea of creating space. And I think, you know, we've, we've all hopefully got somebody that we can have these type of conversations with. And I think it's, it's vital. Creating space for me is creating an environment where you can be vulnerable, where you can be transparent. And I think we live in a society where, especially as men, we walk around and, and, and have this kind of puffed out chest, like everything's great. And, and so creating that space for people, uh, I think the only way to do it is by first showing your emotions. Like the only way I'm gonna get Ted to, be a, to, to open up is by me being vulnerable and opening up to him. You know? I think men need other men in their life that you can have the tough conversations, that you can say, hey man, things aren't great. Um, it's been a tough week. Uh, this happened, this happened, and, and that space is created when that other person isn't trying to fix you. People, like I, I was doing a podcast this morning there, a guy I've never met before in my life, and the level of depth in this conversation that we got into in an hour, the very first time we've ever spoken, but it's because of some things that I brought up about my past, which brought up some things about his past, and then we went to a completely different place than I ever thought the conversation would go to. And it was genuine. It wasn't a tool. Like it, it, was, it was genuinely wanting to connect. And, and I think that that, to me, is gonna be the biggest thing that comes out of this. Um, it's just kind of digging further into that. We talked about this idea of holding space for people. And, and to be able to do so, you have to be vulnerable up front. Because people need help in being vulnerable. Like they need to hear you talk about something that's uncomfortable for them to have the willingness to do the same. Uh, and it's such an important thing, I think, now, just in our society, to be able to have real conversations about difficult topics, but coming from a place of, of vulnerability, uh, that that's really the only way we're gonna ever solve these problems you know to me there's such a big movement right now um, and vulnerability and how vulnerability is ultimately the key to human connection and the key to um, to really building relationships and I know Lewis Howes just came out with a new book called the mask of masculinity or unmasking masculinity something like that and that's what he talks a lot about some experiences that he went through as a child and and just how uh, men especially um, are kind of born and bred and raised um, to not talk about things that are uh, difficult to not talk about um, you know things that are emotional things like that um, but you know, vulnerability is ultimately um, how we all connect. Until we start making, putting intentional effort into creating that space for others, because for you, like, you needed space to be able to talk about it. Somebody needs to create that. And so, you know, a lot of us raised their hands and a lot of you were lying, saying that you have these conversations with people a lot, that you have somebody that you can talk to. But even if you do, that's great. Now it's your responsibility to create that space for somebody else because the majority don't. And so there's the times in your life where you're going to be in a great place. And it's during those times where other people are going to need you. And conversely, there's going to be times in your life where you're not doing great, where things are happening because you're either headed towards coming out or you're in the middle of a storm where you're going to need somebody else to create that same space for you. And so for those of you that are in a great place right now and you're like, man, I got these, this group of friends, we meet for breakfast. I could tell them anything. They could tell you all my, all my struggles right now. That's awesome. Now go be that for somebody else and somebody else and somebody else because that's the only way we start this movement of people that are actually walking around living in their, in their true self and not putting on these masks and just parading around like everything's okay, but deep inside they're you know suicidal and they're facing depression and they have no idea how they're gonna make it to the end of the day. We have to create that space for them to be able to, to, be able to talk about it.